We are back. Time is 947. You know, Valentine's Day is now a week behind us. Probably means that those flowers you got, those roses are long gone. Seen better days. Probably in the trash by now. Well, our next guest thinks that you can keep the joy and get inspired for brighter spring days with some flowering plants in your home. Shayla Oduni from the Plant Penthouse is here with some of our favorites. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having You're me. Welcome. Tell us about the Plant Penthouse. Oh yes, well the Plant Penthouse, it started as a, a blog now turned plant brand of just a way to infuse joy and educate on how to keep your plants alive and live vibrantly. Have you always loved plants? Yeah, you know, it's funny, growing up, I didn't really, it was my parents who were huge plant people. Yeah. I thought they were crazy. And then I moved out to Seattle where I had, it was maybe a 400 square foot apartment. And I was like, oh, I'll just get one plant to yeah. spice it up. And and then the rest was history. I became the plant lady. You became the plant lady. <laughs> and so you see there are plants that kind of do well in Minnesota, in people's yes. homes here. Yes, there okay. are a wide variety. And you brought some of your favorites. I did. I brought some of my favorite flowering plants. I like that. All right, this little devil right here. Let's talk about the orchid because yes. I feel like it gets kind of a bad rap is being finicky and hard to grow. Yes, I do. And I, the way I say about orchids is just being aware and having your expectations set. So with orchids, they bloom maybe around once per year. So knowing that, yep. it's like don't throw the baby out with the bathwater just yet. Once yeah. it grows dormant, that's when you can just cut it down, give it a rest, and know that it'll come back. Okay, talk to me about that. So let's say these flowers fall off after what, like eight to 10 weeks or something? Yeah, mm -hmm. up to okay. 10 weeks, they'll typically last. That's and why then, I like to use find the ones that have still bloomed so that you get yep. longer, longer. Yep. So then you said cut it back. Where do you cut it back to? You would cut it back. So either you can go all the way down to um, the root of this one. So just cut it at the base or look for a node. So as you'll notice, once the flowers, once they bloom and they've had their life, then you'll notice at each of these little pieces is considered a node. So if okay. you cut it back right above a node, mm -hmm. you'll see that once it's ready to um, come back from its dormancy, then that's normally where it'll rebloom from that point. All right. Okay, so don't get rid of it just because it's it's not blooming. Yeah. Right, don't forget do it's pet time, right? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's and very good. Too. Yes. What do yes. we have here? Right here we have a begonia. Begonia. Yes, and this is a Rieger begonia, which is one that is great for the house. I say it's like, you know, poinsettias around Christmas time. This is a great winter plant that carries okay. you into spring. What do you, they, these come in different colors too, right? They All do. different colors. Yes, yellows, pinks, blue. It's just a really fun one to add some vibrancy and really draw out your decor at home. And it can work well, even if it's, it wants a lot of light, but it can work well like by a window, even with the cold air outside kind of. Yeah, so this is one, and it's similar to the cyclone, which we'll talk about is, so this is one where you normally see it outside in baskets during the summer, but then this particular variety, the Rieger, it is great for the winter time. So it does like a little bit of cool, but it, when it comes to those drafts, this is one where you want to keep it a little bit away from. Okay. Like either like extreme heat or extreme yep. cold, but the bright indirect light, which is around five to six hours a day, is where you'll see it. Really so like, bright. is this in your family room? This one, yes, okay. this is a great one for that point. All right, tell us about this guy. This is a cyclamen. And what I love about cyclamen, so this is one that is the ultimate winter plant. It loves being by a cold window. Really? Oh. Yes, I know, who would have thought? Yeah. It's like, opposite of me, I, yeah. I don't really appreciate the cold, but this is where cyclamen really come alive. So these ones are, their blooming season is during the winter. And this is one where a lot of people will, once the blooms have had their run, toss it out. But this is another one where it will come back in the following season. Hmm. Nice, pretty. Okay, well, what's that guy? This is a bromeliad. So unlike the um, orchids of the world, mm -hmm. this one only blooms once in its lifetime. So this is actually the bromeliad at full bloom, but it lasts for three to six months. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yes. And yes. then once it's bloomed, you... Cut it off and just keep the foliage? Yes, that's exactly what I do. So what you'll notice is this will start to brown, yep. and then you'll actually just be able to, like, pop it right out, and then I keep the greenery and keep watering it. It'll actually call, um, still continue to grow what's called, like, pups, like little baby plants from it. It won't rebloom, but you will continue to have the foliage. Interesting. Okay. And, and then the, 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 this not a jasmine, but that's what we were thinking it looked like. I know, like. yeah. So this is an oxalis, or the easy term for it is just the green lucky shamrock. Oh. Yes. And as you see, what it's popular for, this one actually has the three petals, and so that's where it got its popularity during oh, the yeah, shamrock. Yes, yeah. yeah. So it's funny. Initially, they had, when they saw the three, they're like, oh, faith, hope, and love are what it was known for. So it's a nice, you know, affirmation type yeah. <laughs> around um, March and going into St. Patrick's Day, but the blooms are what's really lovely. 
Does that come back year after year, yes. the blooms? Yes, this one will that actually will. come back. Yes, yeah, so this one, the blooms will typically last into the summer time frame, and then yeah. it'll go dormant late summer into fall and come back. And is this an air plant down here? Okay. I know we're out of yes. time, but I, I want to talk about this. That's what, yeah, so if any of these aren't your fancy, air plants are the easiest ones. I'll pop these out. They also are known to flower. I Ooh. have never seen one flowering. I have air plants in my house, but never the pretty colored ones. And they get the right amount of light and the right variety of air plant. But yes, these are lovely. Have Pretty. you ever done air plants? I uh, have not. I'm, I'm learning. I think you learning. only put them in water like once a month. <laughs> Sheila, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thanks for having me. Brighten things up in here a little bit. We post a link for you uh, to the Plant Penthouse on MinnesotaLive.com. Make sure and follow her on Instagram, Plant Penthouse.